Deb is amazing because Deb is rarely ever in the library and yet she is able to call, gather, and deliver for one of her homebounds and then deliver um, to other staff members homebounds. Deb is the one who takes the books to um, some customers without ever having talked to them on the phone or knowing what that conversation was and yet she's still able to keep um, the mood positive if somebody wasn't happy with their books or disappointed in what they got. And she reassures them that we'll try everything in our power to do better the next time. She's just a likable person. She um, she will sit down, she'll talk to them, she'll, she's gotten to know them, she lets them know what's going on in her life and that's important for her especially because she doesn't gather any of the books. Hers is more of a uh, just a one-on-one -on -one interaction. She has to really connect with these people. So, and she does a great job. As she has spent more time getting to know the people, she's become very attached to them and they've become very attached to her. She's really a very sweet lady. She always has a kind word for everybody and takes time to listen. I've been fortunate to get to, to do her route, which used to be my route, and uh, but I get to go when she cannot, and people are very fond of Deborah, and uh, have very good things to say about her and enjoy her a lot. In addition to Deb's work with Cindy, she also delivers a homebound route for another red carpet staff member, Megan. I've listened to Megan talk on the phone to her clients, and she has the best telephone manner I have ever heard. She she is very sincere, and she you can hear the smile on her face as she's talking to these people. And I'm sure that's a bright spot in their lives when they get a call from Megan. She knows her history. She knows that nonfiction so much better than I do, and. Um, I think she's that, that calm, sweet voice on the phone to people. Everybody loves Megan. <laughs> she gets, it, it's amazed um, how much she must, she reaches these people. She gets a lot of cards. She is very well rounded in what she reads. Um, she reads a lot of different things. Um, so her customers always get the best of everything because she can meet each of their needs, whether they read nonfiction or fiction. Um, romances or mysteries, um, she's able to get them what they want. <laughs> oh, Megan's a good friend. I tell her what I want or some. I may not even know the whole name, but I'll say I want something like that. I said that, uh, hey, could you think you had something? And then I, if she says, yeah, I think I can find you something. And she does and does a good job. Mary is one of Megan's homebound patrons who gets materials delivered to her every two weeks. She's been on our my homebound route for about a year, year and a half. She said she didn't read much before she got here to Topeka to live with her daughters, but she's uh, taking it up and seems to really enjoy it. She's She's a very talkative lady. She will uh, go on and on if you let her. Mary has trouble with her vision and appreciates the large print books the library provides for her. Oh, it's immensely. I just could, well, I could read them because I have a magnifying glass for the little print, but you know, that gets tired of holding that in your hand. And then after a while, when it's so, if it's too little, I can't read it. Mary appreciates the homebound service provided to her by the library and enjoys seeing and hearing from Megan and Deb every two weeks. Well, I look forward to it. I really do. You know, I get around that morning better and say, oh, I got some new books. They're coming. <laughs> and she, they're not out the door till I'm in my bag and looking it all over and see if there's something I really got to read now. And sometimes there is. I, don't turn the TV on anymore that day. They come home, they say, well, Mom, what'd you do? I said, well, I had this good book. 